Hey guys, Cindy Otter here with My Arts Endeavors. Guess what time it is? We have our My Year. I love this book. Um, this book is just so much fun to play in. Um, let's see, we have got August. And what are we? We are hot or cold? All right, let me find my page. And here we are, this is August, right? July. Yep. July. Okay. Here we go. We've got August. Um, hot or cold? This is pretty interesting. These are my neo colors. I don't like the colors that's on here, so I really want to give it some different kind of life here. So we're going to play. All right. We're just going to play with some colors. I know. Look at these. They're all beat up. That's okay. So we've got hot or cold. And we're talking about, since I am doing my focus on my year um, via art, so I'm going to be talking about what, what makes, I'm going to interpret hot and cold in a different way. Hot meaning what really gets me going, what gets me excited, what makes me really think about, oh, I want to do that and I want to try that and I, I'm really excited. I can't, you know, I can't. It, it, it's just, it's a passion for me, if that's a word you want to use. It really just gets me excited. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. You know, one of those things. Cold is a form of art or um, a form of expression that I'm just like, yeah, 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 whatever. You know, and it doesn't excite me. That's what I'm going to interpret this week on the hot or cold. Now, um, I will tell you. I'm recording this ahead of time, of course, because I'm going to be gone the week that this comes out. But um, I'll be on vacation. But that's okay, because I'm just going to, um, hopefully I'll have some service where I'm at so I can check in with you guys. So all I did is I just put some Neo Color down. And now I'm just activating it because I want that bright blue. So I'm just taking a little water and just activating the color, which is all good. You know, I'm not um, spreading it around per se. I'm just going to leave it right there. I like it. I like it. So hopefully when you guys see this, I will be... Um, Let's see, will I be gone yet? No, I will be packing up the RV. And getting ready to go up north. When I say north, I mean like up in the Adirondacks of New York State and camp for a week. So as of right now when I'm doing this, I don't know, but we're hoping to take my grandbaby with us. So we'll see what happens. If she's available. Not pretty. That's so cool. Look at that. Just neo colors. I like it. Let me dry this up real quick and we're gonna come in with some more colors. Okay, so this is pretty well dry. Now, I have my calendar, which I really want to put in here. So I am going to just do plain old blue. I don't have any more Elmer's. I found this in the back of my drawer. I know it's back to school time. I'm going to have to get some more glue. Can you imagine? I would panic if I ran out of glue. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. I would completely panic. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's funny. I told my husband that once. I handed him a $20 bill and I said, I need some glue. Would you grab it for me? He came home with like, I don't know, quite a few different pieces. I'm like, what'd you do? Spend the whole 20? He's like, yep. <laughs> okay, that works. All right, so now I'm going to take this. So we're talking about, um, yeah, hot and cold. What I love and what eh, is just eh. So we'll do that in just a minute. But now what I'm going to do is um, I have some things over here onto the side that I'm going to put on. And I'm going to do pages for. But I think that's going to be the next video. Um, why am I not getting... It's like they're stuck together. They are. That's weird. Um, 
there's a little glue right there that's why so we're gonna do that on this page that's gonna be the next video but on this page here I'm just gonna talk to you about what I really enjoy about art and um, you know what what for me makes it so much fun and what I'm things that I'm not fond of like for example things that really excite me is I love 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 to play in supplies I don't care really what the supplies are um, I love to play now do I have preferences absolutely I enjoy paint paint is is huge I love acrylic paint why I don't know I just to me I find paint so forgiving um, versus other things like um, watercolors watercolors I'm learning a lot more with and I'm I'm enjoying it but I also I find watercolor still a little bit on the difficult side and I think it's because um, I I expect them to work the same way the acrylics do and they don't so you know hot or cold I'd say those are my hot things is the watercolors and the paints when I'm talking about supplies Okay, another thing, I like my Neo Color 2s. I don't use them as often as I used to, and that's why I'm trying to get them back out. I've got them here in this box, and um, I'll use them more because, unfortunately, I have that, like, out of sight, out of mind, which my husband knows, so things just kind of disappear, and then I forget about them, and then, like, 10 years later, I'll ask for them. He's like, oh, where that went? But anyways, um, so two of my hot go-to items are paint, and um, watercolors, glue sticks. So actually, I'm gonna make a list of my hot supplies on here. But let me dry this up, I'll be right back. That's not dry yet, but ugh, I was just looking at this and I thought, hmm, I want this white. I really do. So this is just gesso that I'm throwing down with this paintbrush. Buster, I don't want you this morning. My cat Buster is just a pain in the butt lately. He just likes to, he, I call it passion. He loves to have passion. You hold him and he'll just sit here and purr and purr and purr and purr and purr. And he always does it when I'm doing something. Um, if I'm sitting on the couch or just chilling out, he doesn't bother me at all. When I get doing something, he's like, Mom, I need the company. So he's a little stinker. But what would we do without our fur babies, right? I like that. Do, 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 do. All right, now this I've got to dry really well because I do want to um, write on this. So let me dry this up. And I'll be right back. Okay, so let's make our list here. First, I have to find a black pen. It's going to work on here. This is the uh, Jean Davenport Incredible Pen. Whoops. That's not good. Uh-oh. Huh. That came right off there. That's weird. Let's see if it writes. ink, glue, paintbrush, pens. Let me go ahead. I'm going to write a bunch of this on here and then I'll be back. I don't want you guys to sit here while I have to write all this stuff down. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So what I did is I took a few minutes and I sat here and I thought about the hot and the cold when it comes to my art supplies, which last month I did a little bit on the favorites of my art supplies. But these right here, and I, you know, it's not something I have to read off. It's just these are the things. These are my go-tos. Um, this is what I love to play with. So um, I forgot to put bling on here. Um, I may keep adding to this. Who, who, who knows? Um, but right now, I'm just going to play a little bit on this outside because why not? Let's play. I need a different brush. Let's grab this brush. 
And I've got, this is Target paint. It's um, called Handmade Modern. It's a satin acrylic paint. And this one is no color. Oh, satin violet. So I'm just going to play around with this paint. Let's do it. Why not? Because we can. Why not play? And that's one thing that I, you know, I just love to play with my art supplies. Um, you know, am I a Picasso? Heck no. Am I, am I a professional? No. But you know what? Oh, I don't like the way that turned out. Um, I enjoy playing. So that's all that matters at this point is as long as I enjoy playing and I have fun at it and it keeps me sane. Okay. I'm all for it. So why not? I don't know what I'm actually doing here, but I decided I wanted purple paint on here. So I'm just making little circle things. <laughs> and I'm going to make a big circle thing here with three circles. There's one. There's two. So, you know, like I said, I'm looking at this month's prompt, not like hot and cold is in the weather, um, but more of what's hot and what's cold in my art. Um, there's certain things I love to do, which you guys know. Um, like, for example, my glue books. I, I love doing my grabbing glues. They, I just call them glue books. Um, thank you, Gina, for t coining, you know, the term grab and glue, because that's really what it is. Um, but it's, it's something I've done for a long time and I really enjoy. To me, it just, I, I just, I sit, I grab, I glue, and it's just really satisfying. And you know what? It doesn't have to make sense. And I think that's one thing that um, I see a lot in artists is, you know, so many people are like, well, that doesn't make sense. Why did you put that ticket with that shoe? It doesn't matter, you know? It, it really doesn't matter. Just have fun with it and play. It's, it's not, you know, if you're trying to do it for your business or to make a living, yeah, then you have to look at it differently. But if you're just in your art room playing because you enjoy the process, then stick a ticket with a boot. It doesn't matter, right? As long as you think it looks neat, why not? Go for it. I didn't mean to get on a lecture here. That's not what I'm doing. But um, that's just, that's the way I feel about it. Enjoy it. Have fun with it. Okay, I am going to dry this really quick because I want to put some white in here. And you know what? Actually, before I do that, let's take, let's take this paint again. And I'm just going to play with some dots. Dot, 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 dot love dots. Aren't they cool? Dots are so much fun. Do, do, do. So you guys, um, the ones that follow me, you'll know that my husband has started art journaling. And I have to tell you, I am so excited to see him do it because it's another form of expression for him. And my husband is not one to sit and just stare at the TV or whatever. Um, he's always on the go and he's always doing, doing, doing. And I just think this is gonna be a great um, way for him to relax, yet still express himself and just have fun with it. So I'm really, really excited. I'll be posting some of his stuff on my page. Um, oops. Eventually, if I get him into doing some videos, they'll go on my YouTube channel. You know, um, but we'll see. So far, he's enjoying it. He's having fun with it, and that's all that matters. Look at all those dots. <laughs> Cute dots. All right, let me dry up these dots, and we'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and these are not dry, but that's okay, because what I'm going to have to do, I was hoping maybe I could dry them up and then move on, but that's not going to happen today. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue. Um, this is just gesso. Um, this is uh, Pro Art Gesso. I probably got it at Hobby Lobby or, I don't know, somewhere. Um, and I just want to just do a few 
a few white bumps or bumps dots. Why not? So I think this week, I know you guys have heard a lot about hot and cold because I am the last week this month, which is, is fantastic because I've been the first week a couple months and it's just crazy. But um, so what I'm, I want you to do is I want you to think about whether it's an art project or an art supply that really makes you happy and gets you going. What, what do you look at and say, ooh, I can't wait to use that to do blah, blah, blah. You know, what is the art supply that does it? And then um, the next video that we'll have here in a couple days, we're going to talk about what projects are hot and what projects are cold. So think about those two things. Um, and we're going to talk about the different projects that um, the minute I think about it, it just it gets me going. It's like, oh, I want to do that. Oh, I can't wait to do that. OK, so think about those two different things um, while you set up your you know, months page, if you haven't already. And think about, you know, hot and cold. What turns you off when it comes to art supplies? What are you like, oh, I can't stand using them. And I'll tell you one of my non-liked art supplies, I've only used them once, and I really just was not happy, and that is charcoal. Um, to me, it was just way too messy, and I was not thrilled with it. I, I mean, it'll wipe off. you got to seal it and all this other stuff. And I'm like, yeah, no, that's not me. It's too much of a pain in the butt. So I'm not a charcoal person. I don't like using charcoals. They're dirty, they're nasty, and I'll be honest with you, I have a thing of pan pastels. I have never opened them because I'm so afraid I'm going to end up with that ick mess. I don't mind having paint on my hands, but there's something about having like chalky or lead pencil -y type stuff on my hands. I don't really like that. I don't know why. So anyways, think about, um, you know, what supplies are hot for you and what supplies you're like, nah, I don't want anything to do with that. Sorry, thanks, but yeah, I'm not interested. So think about that um, and, you know, get a page. These are all hots. These are all hots for me. I'm not going to do any colds because I don't really want to think about that negative book stuff. But when we come to the next video on this next page, we're going to talk about projects. What projects are hot for me that I really love to do and I will spend as much time doing them? And what's cold? Eh, I don't really want to do that. It doesn't excite me. It doesn't thrill me. So think about those two things. And I'll see you guys in a couple days. As always, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. We'll see you in a bit. Bye.